Hello, this is a little bit different to what I usually do. Uh, this isn't gonna be music related. Basically, earlier this year, I went to America, basically in March. I know it's a long time coming, but I saw all the clips I did on my phone and I wanted to put them into one video of the experiences I had. You'll see it's all filmed on my phone, so it's not the best quality. So that's why I'm using these bits in between, which is the G over there, Connor, who's letting me use his camera, which I look fabulous in. I don't look like this in real life, so I'm sorry. Shout out to Connor and I do not look like this good in the clips you're about to see I look horrendous but I was traveling and I was super tired as well I just want to explain this was not a holiday I was on my own I'll say it was more of a trip and I have to say a massive shout out to Airbnb and Greyhound buses so cheap to get around America through, through those devices but yeah you will see me looking all rough and stuff this is proper real raw solo adventure you're about to see and what you're about to witness. Yes, I got used to the smell of piss in that lift because I in fact got stuck in that lift. I was only about two hours within America and I was stuck in the lift. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I had to ring 911 because I was um, ringing the um, the button that said call for help but no one was um, no one was answering so by the time I got through to the fire brigade then the person on the uh, buttons answered so then they were like hey we can help you oh we can help you I was like oh right right okay to each other. <laughs> Whatever one could get me out first because it stinks like piss in here. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, I've just got out of an elevator that was banging the door. I had to tell the next people like not to get on. <sighs> Literally my lot. I can't believe that. Oh man. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so relieved to see the oh, It's beautiful out here though. Honestly, this is it's tiny, but this was literally the cheapest I could get. Yeah. <laughs> the fire department, I would like to personally thank um, San Francisco Fire Department for getting me out. Thank you. a lot better there's loads of dogs in this farm there's like 10 dogs but yeah i made it to Visalia, and yeah some beautiful views here wow it's like mexico <coughs> Boop. hello come here they stray i have no idea <laughs> Sexy clothes, right? Um, currently working on a farm.
to make a spontaneous trip to LA. Yes, I am going to LA tomorrow for three nights uh, before coming back again. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> so I have some ham. I'm about to feed some dangerous animals out there in the cellar. Wish me luck. Ooh. Oh my, I may, I may be mauled to death. This may be the last video you see of me. Oh no, dangerous animals, dangerous animals, dangerous animals, dangerous animals. Ooh. Well, I'm just feeding the dogs for the last time before um, heading up to LA. But yeah. For a much better day, it's been raining the whole holiday. So yeah, I didn't really explain what I was doing. So basically I did this a workaway program, which mean I was going to, I was in mid California. So I flew in from San Francisco, went to mid California to do some work. And then at the end of the first week, do a little trip to LA. So that's what you're gonna see now. When I first uh, got into um, LA, I mean, I had a lovely time. I first got, got into it, it was late evening. The first thing that happened was um, I got uh, approached by some really dodgy men saying they'd give me to lift to my Airbnb. Luckily I didn't take it but it was very scary uh, and my first Airbnb was a mattress on the floor but I did not crack and the second Airbnb was m much nicer it was a really with a really nice couple. I stayed there for two nights but the first night I stayed in this really scary Airbnb. I mean I was proper I feel like a proper rough in it. I, I, mean, I know I'm complaining but it's not a third world country, I know, but it's it was new for me, so I know people are going to be like, oh, shut up, Mel. What I've learned in my first day in LA is if you want to go anywhere, go to wherever those buildings are over there. <laughs> Someone come with me. staying at this place because they are totally my vibe look at this and cat After LA, I went just back to the farm again, just to uh, do some more work. I didn't film much there. I stayed in a place called Arose, but um, quite near to it was a place called uh, Visilia, which reminded me of the California Hitchin. It was really good. It had a really good music scene there. Nice to uh, uh, play music. I didn't play music, but I watched music. I asked if there was any open mics. There wasn't, but I did do an open mic in LA in a vegan cafe, and that was really fun. Here's me just walking some dogs before going back to San Francisco. That was really fun as well. So 
So the last leg of my trip, I went back to San Francisco and I bought a hotel and it was like a hundred pounds for two nights. I was like, that's brilliant. It right in the middle of the city centre, which I didn't realise was right in a really rough part of town. Like, I'm talking about rough, rough. I mean, there was homeless all over the pe all over the place. I mean, nothing against them. I felt really sorry for them, bless them. But it was scary again because I was so far away from home, and it was just a really rough, dodgy area. But it's funny with San Francisco because you're not, if you're in a rough area, you're just around the corner from a really nice area did not break down. I mean, the amount of times I should have break, broken down on this trip, but I didn't. And I acted like it wasn't fun. It was, the whole thing was really fun. It was a life-changing experience, but you know, there was just some scary bits. As I was saying, this wasn't a holiday. It was more of a trick. And that one of the highlights was the open mic I did on the very last night in San Francisco. I met so many nice people. My music went down really well there. That's why I really want to go back and play uh, more open mics out there and trying to get, I'm trying to get a gig out there for next year, but it's not easy when no one knows who you are, but it would be really cool I'm just trying to sell off the I'm English thing. <laughs> it's currently half five in the morning and I am in Visalia. And I'm getting a bus back to San Francisco. Spend the weekend there uh, before. Hotel's got my luggage, but yeah, feels like I've been here for ages. It's been an incredible journey. So yeah, that was just, I'm really proud of myself if no one else is because I did it all on my own and it's such a far away play. Always wanted to go to America and I've finally done it and now I just want to go back, back purely for like pleasure and a touristy thing because I think I could have afforded it, which was a sad thing is I probably could have afforded a week there and had more fun instead of, you know, working. If I went again, there's one thing I did, didn't do. Well, the one thing I didn't do is there were so many fast food restaurants that were so interesting. I mean, we've got a lot in England, but there they've got like everything. Like they've got Sonic, Panda Express. And I watch all these YouTubers eat like loads of food, um, but I really don't eat that much fast food myself because of the way it makes me feel. But in there, I should have utilized it because there were so many different ones. Went to every hipster coffee place you could imagine. And uh, so I spent like $7 on coffee, I think once in Santa Monica. Massive shout out to the people, again, the people I met and people who were so kind to give me directions. Like the people in America, they're so much more helpful. Like it wasn't for being able to talk to people um, 
I wouldn't know what I'd do. And it was just so many nice people out there as well. There was some scary people, don't get me wrong. I mean, there was a man who said he was Jesus. I didn't quite believe him. Who am I to judge? Thank you, this is me signing off. I hope you like these kind of videos. Should I do more? I will have a better camera. Um, hopefully next month. So I want to go to Paris. I want to go to Berlin. I want to film all these places, which I'm probably going to go on my own. I like solo traveling a lot. So if I can do America, I can do like places in Europe, I think quite easily. So anyway, see you later guys. And let me know if you like these kinds of videos. Like, bye. Thanks Connor, mate.